Hi, I'm Kyle Spence. At the end of this instructional video, you'll be able to properly warm up and stretch before a soccer match. Out of the following, help me choose a suitable playing surface. Harm minimization and safety. That's my game. The last thing you want is a sprained ankle. Arts. Once you have found the correct playing surface, you can now then begin with a light jog for 400 metres. This will get the blood pumping and the muscles limbered up so that you don't hurt yourself. Whilst jogging, incorporate some knee lifts. Heel kicks. Side to side steps. Ground touches. And don't forget those jumping headers. Now that you're back from your light jog, and you know the four main muscle groups to stretch, now it's time to stretch them using the right techniques. Stand facing the wall, about three feet away. Take one step forward with your right foot. Place your hands on the wall in front of you. Elbows slightly bent, shoulders, hips and feet are pointed directly towards the wall. Bend your right knee slowly, using the movement to control the amount of stretch you feel in your left calf muscle. Hold for 10 to 15 seconds. Repeat for the other leg. Keep your legs straight. Bend at the waist and reach for your toes. Allow the weight of your arms and torso to help with the stretch. Breathe deeply and gently reach down as you exhale. Hold for 10 to 15 seconds. Using a chair or wall, Grab your right foot at the ankle and pull towards the buttock. Be sure your hips are forward and your knees are in line. You should feel the stretch in your quadriceps. Hold for 10 to 15 seconds and repeat for the other leg. Sit down with your feet together and back straight. Using your elbows, apply downward pressure to your knees. Exhale as you bend over, trying to get your chest close to the floor. Hold for 10 to 15 seconds. Feel free to pause the video and practice the techniques. Now that you've correctly warmed up properly and that you've done all the stretching techniques, now it's time to move on to some ball work. But before we do that, there's some important stuff you need to know. Ball work should be incorporated at the end of the warm up. Your body needs to gradually adapt to the physicality of a football match. Start off with a simple juggling drill for 5 minutes to increase focus and agility while exercising ball control. Now you should move on to something a little explosive, such as short and long passing drills. Once completed, have a few shots on goals. Now you're ready for football. Now for a recap.
I hope you enjoy this instructional learning video and you have learnt something new. There are many techniques to stretch and warm up. Don't stop here. Go out and experiment with what works best for you. Good luck and bye for now.